All right, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. I have not really had a time to play this at all, so unfortunately, we're pretty much where we left off last time. Um, rebuilding all these stupid weapon traps. I'm going to do this one more time, but, I mean, it really might be the end of it here for weapon traps for me, like, based upon what happened last time. Um, if they really did damage these things, and, you're like, you got to remake them, it's like, what's the freaking point of it? But I'm not going to complain. I'll just see how you, how they have this little X next to some of these large array of copper discs. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering whether they're getting damaged now. I mean, I guess that's realistic, like I said before. But if 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 you can't really you reuse them in the trap, or if they maybe their effectiveness their effectiveness goes down, if they're damaged or something, then it's they're not really it's not really worth the time to make ten trips back and forth to the weapon trap for a mechanic to do that. It's not worth it. And just to have one kill off one thing. So for outdoor defenses, it's like maybe not too bad for like indoor defenses. And what is this stuff? Cannot find path to where? Oh, yeah, I'm constructing and deconstructing some parts here. I'm going to let that go. I have an injured guy below. I think it's our militia leader or the leader of that one squad. I think he took an injury during that goblin attack. Uh, looks like they're cleaning up some of the stuff. What are you doing here? Copper gauntlet. We're going to melt that down. Because what the hell. Might as well. Look at that thing on the door, too. Uh, green glass block. Why? Huh? Bolt? Iron bolt. Eh, melt that down. I don't know. When in doubt, melt it down. Alright, I queued up a bunch of things. Jobs. Let's see here. Where is it? Manager? Yeah, a bunch of clothing items. So we're gonna get, we are gonna got to be making some clothes because down, I noticed down in our um, our living areas where the people have their bedrooms and stuff that um, a lot of... Uh, oh, he's better. He's moving around. But why the hell... Oh, why is it still red? Status. Um, hmm. Health. Ability to stand lost foot smashed open received pigtail sutures on left foot clean with soap dog soap <laughs> dog soap how many freaking puppies have had that bar of soap uh, evaluated brought to rest of bed okay well apparently just they let him go I don't know why he's walking around on that foot he should maybe take some time off but he's moving around okay it looks like I want to send these guys off on another uh, little expedition. Huh. Why are they being melted down? I have a little... Um, leather armor is X. Uh, dump that. Melt that down. I'd have to go in, in, each, in these individually, wouldn't I? Hmm. Oh, at any rate, I need bins. I'm noticing that right away. Uh, let's see here. I think we made a lot of leather bags. But they're not using them for sand collection. Unfortunately. I don't know why that is. Huh. Because our furniture stockpile is getting a little filled up here. Alright, well. Let's keep going. What I need? I need bins. Oh, and another thing here is our block is completely filled up. Holy crap! Yeah, I did. I went through here before I started the episode, and designated basically all this broken clothing to be dumped. And like at some point, when we're trapped inside, I'll have them move all that out of those stockpiles into some sort of quantum stockpile under an atom smasher so we'll worry about that at that point no point in bogging my people down right now with stuff is there any kind of soap i can make i will set that up what's going down here for bins right i think it's this one yes I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I honestly should be doing it through the job manager. I think I'm catching up with um, charcoal. 
Uh, yeah, because I've had two people going on in here for full time for a while. You're still making some lie on repeat, whatever ash I happen to have. Okay. And are you making anything? Large three copper discs. I'm wondering whether I should even bother to make things out of, out of making those anymore. I mean, I got a bunch of them, but I am going to take that off of there. What should I use this copper for, though? Other objects. Copper, just make, I don't know, let's make some... Uh, I don't see it here. Where's... Oh, I think I'm in the wrong one. It's going to be under furniture. Copper. Let's just make, like, freaking uh, statues on repeat with copper. Use a ball of our copper with that with them. Yeah, see, I want to send my, my dudes out, but I want to wait for that guy to get healed up a little bit more. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Really, we just have to wait here for this stuff to get done. Uh, looks like, whoops, what did I do here? Okay. That got suspended for some reason. Fill the last few in with green, green glass. So we have eight more glass. Oh, that's too much. There you go. That'll give us something to do. And I'm going to cut out here. I don't really see much point in showing much more of this. Because this is just redundant. Yeah, we do still have some of these giant... I guess they're giant boars. I'm not paying much attention to what they are. But other than that, nothing else going on. So I'll be right back. Alright, I had an interesting little thing here pop up. Uh, a Baroness Consort of Shot Glove is visiting, which is kind of odd. I mean, isn't that like one of our other uh, Zoom to location? I don't know. Is that like a diplomatic visit or something? I don't see them. Well, they, may, they probably already made their way inside. And it's not even the Baron. Just like the, the wife or husband or whatever. Weird. At any rate, they're going in, and uh, I don't know if that means it's like a diplomatic visit or what this is. Shot glove. I mean, isn't that? It might be one of my part of my civilization. I really wouldn't know even how you look it up on here, because there's a lot of other little establishments here, like you see here. Ring, ring lost, spoken wall, or something. Paper soldier. I mean, who knows? I mean, I don't really know how you would look it up, but. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to go to the Legends Viewer, and I don't want to deal with that right now. So, I don't know. Probably someone from our civilization or one of the other Dwarven civilizations that are around us. But I just thought it was interesting to tell you guys that. So, we're just waiting on the work to get done. All right, I wanted to come back here real quickly. I hit T, went over the weapon trap, and it, honestly, it looks like, um, according to this, there's no X's in front of them. So, what is being put into the weapon trap is not broken, apparently. I, I guess. Um, unless they're putting in new ones. We were making a bunch. So, I don't know. Maybe it's... Uh, I'm really not entirely sure. No, it's just not really... I, I can't really tell. I guess it's possible that they're using new ones and not using these broken ones. Which means I should probably take a quick look at my stock screen. Where would that be? Under weapon traps? Or weapon... No, wait. Trap components. Maybe. Alright, now where would... Large serrated copper disc. We have a bunch of them. There's no way to view... Tab. Ah. I just want to see if I go through this list whether they'll show a lot of broken ones in here. Yeah, they're still showing them. So how about... I don't think they're using these on uh, in the weapon traps. I think they're just using new ones. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go through this and melt down 
these things like this. Now, here's the thing. Well, yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. I guess we can melt some of this stuff down. I don't give a crap about the spikes. Eh, get rid of that, too. Yeah, so I guess it's, we'll keep using these, these discs until they all break down, and then I'll just melt them all down. I don't know what else to do aside from that. Let's go through the rest of the list. Let's make sure I got them all. Looks like we did. Oh yeah, it's going through the other stuff too. All right, well, what are these? Uh, meltdown, meltdown. Yeah, all right, good enough. All right, cut back out again. Okay, so it looks like our captain of the guard is mostly healed up. He's got a little bit of an injury still on the left ankle. So we are going to go back out on another raid mission here or whatever. Whatever you freaking want to call it. Um, Let's see here. There's... No civilized population, so does that mean we completely wipe them out? A half day's travel. That's the one that had 20 left, so apparently we raised it completely. So we're going to just start keep we're going to keep working on these guys until they're all freaking dead or gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's see here. Raid this site. Let's see details. Well, we don't want R. We want openly attack and destroy site X. I guess everything else is okay, but the loot items thing I really don't like. But you know what? I'm going to have to leave that on in case there's take important treasures. That's artifacts. So looting other items, I guess I wouldn't really care about that too much. Stealing the livestock. Well, that's why we keep getting... Uh, Alright, assign. And then they'll, they'll go. See them go. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're heading off screen. Continuing to build these things back up again. So they're heading off. Okay, what is this thing here? Holy crap. Wow, dump that. <laughs> Holy crap, look at all this stuff. How'd that suddenly all get here? What the hell is this? How come they dumped a bunch of crap right here on my front porch? Well, the thing is, it's right on a bridge. It could get destroyed. I don't really don't want to lose this stuff. Dump that down, dump that. I don't know how that happened. Like a bunch of stuff maybe magically got teleported to one spot. I've seen that kind of glitch before where like a bunch of things just sort of get teleported to a spot. I forgot how how that happens. It's some way that you can, that, that does that. I'm not really sure what it is. So the last guy, is he going? I saw a guy over here going down downstairs. I don't know what he's doing. Well, at any rate, I'm going to cut out here again because I see what happens. All right, well, I think this answers the question I was asking last episode, where it looks like a bunch of the dogs and that bear. Bear's going really slow, by the way. He's way back here. But the dogs are all heading... All these war dogs, remember we signed that to our military leader? They're all heading off screen, so apparently, yes, the animals will go with your guys. It's just that it seems to be... I don't know why the bear's going so freaking slow, but... <laughs> well, they'll all go and help, I guess, apparently, in the raid. So they're all going off screen. Now, whether they get done with their raid in time... Well, what happened here? Did everything freeze up? I think everything froze up. All right, well, maybe we're changing season or something here. Uh, let me pause. All right, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. We had a crash and lock up, and... Um, so I just decided to play a little bit off air. And as you can see here, we had... Um, over a number of, number of hours I've been playing. The start of a number of little ambushes that came on from the outskirts over there in that top upper corner. At first it was just a bunch of horses and grizzly bears, but I knew this was going to be the elves eventually. So I turned the burrows on and that's sort of what happened. There were a number of ambushes. So like each time there was, I think it was about four or five maybe. 
and more animals would come in and in the first wave then we didn't have any elves at all all right then the second wave came in you can see here we got quite a few bit more horses and bears <laughs> yeah i don't really uh understand why they they sent all their animals in first it's a little weird but all right so we pulled our the levers and shut ourselves in mainly just the outside uh gate because i, I, I feel we're pretty protected Unless you, well, I mean, I didn't know if they were going to come in with anything flying, but I, I didn't think they were. Okay, the next ambush, and this time around, I actually started to see a few elves up there. Yeah. Um, you see there's one up there in the upper corner, about four or five in the, well, there's a bunch of them actually now, five or six of them. I started to make a beeline towards my fort. And there they are on the list. I didn't really count them, but eh, it looks like about 12, 15 of them. I don't know. Then another ambush. Some more of them pop on the screen. And then there was a second one right after that. So the, this one popped up again. They seem to be pretty good at trap avoidance. So the weapon traps really didn't do much for for stopping the elves. But they did stop some of the, the bears and the uh, horses. You managed to cage a few animals and one elf bowman, which is going to feel my wrath later. So we just continued to practice inside of our little fort there. Then our trade caravan came in right in that top upper corner. So that obviously they bypassed our inaccessible site. But the elves didn't attack right away and all we had was just the guy with, uh, with the, uh, the pack animal at first. So I let it go a little bit. Then the guards came in. When the guards came in, guards went to town on the elves. Okay, so looks like, yeah, the guards popped in. I didn't quite catch that, like, immediately. But uh, the, the elves didn't seem too interested in attacking the traitors. But the, when the guards came in, they just immediately went on the attack. And so there's a lot of back and forth between them. Um, a lot of those traps and stuff and the, some of the killing and death from... The caravan guards did break the siege pretty much right away, so I dropped the drawbridge in an attempt to draw in a few of them. I was going to fight with my guys just to give them a little bit of practice, you know. So you can see them there. I got them stationed by the front gate, but they really didn't do much. And I told them to go up there and kill, but I don't think they, I don't think they got there in time. Oh, and while this was all happening, strange mood. And we got an announcement that we have now been made a duchy at the exact same time. Well, we got the, the, the Baroness was the one that had the, the fame mood. And she made this thing. A pecan wood cup. Family heirloom. Wonderful. This cup is pretty interesting. It's got a lot of stuff on it for some reason. And we put it in the museum after the fact, of course. I'll just show you the description here. If you want to pause and read it, I'll just go over it really quickly. Obviously, all of the standard uh, highest quality, craft worship, and we drop down to it's got an image of Ego Cloakrath, the human, and and champion honored the alligator. I guess it was some kind of big epic fight where uh, so like the killing of the human. It looks like the alligator killed the human in 103. That was a big deal, apparently. Couple other pictures on there. Picture of a dwarf named Lead Wind, Wind Ticks in grizzly bear leather. It's laboring and it has something to do with the founding of our fortress. Uh, I don't know who Lead Wind Ticks is, but apparently he was as far at, at, at the founding, so he might have been one of our starter dwarfs or something. I he's not. I looked through the list and he's not currently there. Yeah, and there it is. We just go and we put it in. It's. Uh, on display there that artifact okay so we are back live and yes I played like several hours off air uh, what have we got here animals we got a lot of puppies popped up and some of these wild boars that are in cages are now being they're now giving birth to piglets and yeah so I, I murdered a lot of puppies uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot so we got a lot of stuff here as far as food goes Particularly like in the way of dog food and or dog tallow. Look at this 580 dog tallow. 
And a bunch of other stuff, too. So there's not much else going on. I think we had someone violate an order here. Yeah, the, the sentence isn't pending yet. I forgot what it was, but they didn't get to it in time. Uh, just double-checking to see if we have any things, mandates, but no, okay. So I decided to do some work on the outside. We finally cleaned up all, all that mess from the elves. We keep getting these giant wild boars coming in, and they keep causing problems just because of... They keep getting in the cages and whatnot, so... So what I've been doing is deconstructing some roads and moving traps, dismantling some of the weapon traps and, sorry, there's a motorcycle going by the house right now, and re reassembling them as cage traps since, well, the weapon trap thing, it is sort of a thing where they're, they're breaking the weapon, so I'm going to that. Let's unpause here. And I decided to move on this one here and move the walls and deconstruct the roads. And what I'm doing is kind of what I did back in my one of my older Let's Plays um, called Golden Seals. That was back in like version 34 or something like that. Soldiering. Can that Does that mean I can actually put them in my squad? I'm kind of wondering. I'm almost going to approve this one. I'm going to approve that one. I don't really know whether you can or not, but... Either way, they're there. All right. Uh, soldiering, I don't mind, I guess. But I don't think I got direct control of that person yet. That soldier one. All right. Well, if anyone knows that one, I don't really quite know. I think I don't think they're a citizen fully, a full citizen where I can put them in a squad. But anyway, these freaking things that keep getting caught in this cage trap here. These, I don't know. This is like getting annoying. At any rate. We're making a bunch of, of, uh, of these bridges, and mainly they're just going to be used for atom smashing stuff as they come in. I'm getting to the point right now where I just don't know what else to do with this fortress. As you see here, our frame rates are dying, even with the collecting of all this stuff from outside. And for doing a big atom smash and a lot of the broken clothing I had. I went through that list on the Z menu, like I showed you last time, how you do that. So I'll just go down here really quickly because they probably got new stuff in here. What I did was go here. Let's see, you go to view. Oh, is it tab? Tab. Yeah, and then you go into individual and you just go, oh, I want this one dumped. So I just, I did that for a lot of things. So I went through all the clothing types and all the um, the weapon types that were... Uh, some of them I just didn't like. I wanted to melt down the, the stuff that's copper and bismuth bronze and uh, stuff like that so and um so we've gotten a lot of things captured i now in the the beginning part of this episode we had a whole segment that i played out and all that apparently i had to start over again because it had a, we had a freeze up and now i don't know entirely what that was but we had just sent our people off on the civilization screen for another raid and I was kind of wondering about the animals, because we attached animals to some of our guys, if you, rem if you remember right. So, all right, did that pause it? Yeah, someone else had a mood, okay. Some sort of a gem cutter. Well, at any rate, um, so I I'm wondering whether the when the animals left our screen, that's what caused that crash? I really don't know entirely. So... That might be a problem. Oh, and another interesting thing, in case you didn't know this, at J, M for the managers. Now, you can actually make certain jobs infinite. Like, they'll just continuously do them. And I didn't really know that, per se. Or maybe I didn't know it, and it was a long time ago since I remembered it. So when you type in a new order, for, if you hit Q, if you put a new order in, I did that for collect sand and melting metal objects. Because I want them to continuously do that, like non-stop. Because there's so many items to melt down now. And I don't want them to keep canceling the collect sand things. That's why we're getting these cancellations now, where they don't have an empty sand thing. And we're getting that kind of repeated a lot. I might delete that order once we finish this, but we are getting very close to finishing this, uh, this, this top part here with uh, green glass. Yeah, so I didn't, unfortunately, oh, yeah, we don't have enough for this. All right, well, we only got seven. Yeah, apparently they're using the bags for something else. I'm not quite sure what they're using it for, but 
seem to be low when I actually queued up like 50 leather bags to get made. And we've apparently used like everything up. Unless we're digging up stuff that's not not green, usable for the for this glass stuff. All right. Well, he claimed the jeweler shop. I knew that was coming. We well, here's the thing. Now, oh, he began a construction already. Just grabbed one gem. All right. Well, he's doing his thing. At any rate, we did a big, huge atom smash on all that stuff I was telling you about. Got rid of a lot of junk in here. A lot of that broken clothing is now gone. Looks like there's more. I'll just bring up the K menu and see if there's a lot. Eh, there's only a few things here. I don't really need to do this yet. But there was a lot in there. And I did notice a few points come back for our frame rate problem. But not enough. See, here's the thing. I'm amazed I got the 20-something episodes with this. Because in the past version 40, we really never made it that far. In fact, that I think mostly it's because we've had, we had a smaller embark this time. And we're trying to keep things kind of small and minimalistic. And, but I don't know. It just didn't work out to where, like I used to see now we're in the 40s on. I don't know. Maybe we're not. Drop down to 36. All right. Well, whatever. I don't think we're really going to be getting too much further with this Let's Play. That's what I'm saying. Um, I think we're probably at the end of what we can do. That's slated to be removed. Okay. Yeah, we're probably at the end of what we can do with this Let's Play as far as frame rate goes. It's, it's becoming... I have to actually... It's like buzzers are on the screen, huh? Alright, so they're having problems doing stuff. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where it's taking hours to make any progress with these episodes. And it's just... I got other things I gotta get going on for the channel related stuff, so... I'm thinking this might be our last episode, and I'm really sad to say that, but <laughs> because I really wanted to do more missions and raids, and I think I might have to consider doing that for um, another four. But now, I think it was either last episode or the episode before that, I told you guys about these ideas for some smaller micro forts, and I've been given the idea some thought and I'm pretty sure the next one's gonna be the like an epic cheesemaker embark where we're just gonna be doing nothing but a surface like town I think we'll even pick the same dwarven civilization we'll, we'll embark not too far from these guys and we're gonna make like it's it's gonna be basically all geared towards cheese making <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculously stupid it'll be nothing but making cheese and having animals that we milk and having fields of animals with that stuff in it and this building I mean, you're still gonna have to do a lot of the basic stuff that you do for every fort but you know that's just where it's gonna be I, I don't think those forts are gonna last nearly as long not so much because of the frame rate thing but I think it's just gonna be like well at some point we'll just have to call that quits because we accomplished what we wanted all right he created some sort of throne gosh a night throne in a jewel crafter shop he offers it to the dagger of fierceness I have no clue what the dagger of fierceness is that's not our civilization is that a group or something that I don't know let's bring it up with the capital L here so okay prince martyred the principle of leaping a Goshenite throne apparently we literally have no description on this. It's just a throne. It's just got spikes of Goshenite. I don't know. <laughs> I, I really can't make much heads or tails of that. I guess we'll just stick it in the, uh, the museum. Yeah, it's right here, right? Alright, so it's good. we're putting a chair on a pedestal. I guess we did that with something else, too. I just never thought you can do that in a jewel crafter shop. Well, at any rate, yeah, you'll notice the rooms are pretty clean right now. They designate a lot of stuff to get dumped and crushed. Yeah, I mean, I think I am done here. Uh, I think what I'd like to do is just get these roofs done, this roof done on this one area. Then I'm going to probably retire the fort. I'm not going to abandon it. And then I think I'm, we'll probably be starting up with the cheesemaker thing maybe in a week or two. 
And I might do some other micro forts. Remember I was telling you about other ideas. Maybe just do one all focus towards military and we'll do more raids. We'll try to get to that earlier to Let's Play. Or we'll do one that's based upon... I don't know, I had some other ideas too. What did I... I don't even remember all the stuff I mentioned. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I just think, like, right now, I mean, that's all we really can do. Uh... Particularly if we're going to get these crash... Like, a lockup. It was That wasn't a crash, it was a lockup. It completely froze the game, and I had to do Control-Alt-Delete, go to the... Go and shut down the, uh... Door Fortress. It wouldn't... It never uncleared. It apparently wasn't saving for the season. So... I, so I just really want to get this floor up and going before I abandon this. Oh yeah, and uh, I was attaching some of these animals out here that we had captured. Some of those horses and grizzly bears and things like that. So I noticed the grizzly bears would just immediately cause everyone to go in and fight. You know, they, basically they're tagged for fighting with those horses that the, uh, the elves are using were not. So... Yeah, I was just using it to clear up a few of the cages. I put some of the buzzards we had collected earlier and some of the uh, those giant red-winged blackbirds that we had collected. So what I'll do here is probably make the bridges here too. But honestly, at this point, if we're going to if we're gonna end this for... I'm, I'm not going to bother to do that. I just want to get these, these floors done here. What I'm going to do is just pause here and finish this. Then we're going to retire it. We'll kind of do like a quick tour of the base too. Uh, I just feel like as an outro... So I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back, and this is going to be our last segment here. We're going to do a final tour of the base. I want to just pause it. There's no point in going on. Now, if you remember here, we embarked. We had a small hill over here. We built some roads on it and kind of dug it down. Down to there. And there's a road basically going all the way around it. We got cage traps all the way around it. We do still have some weapon traps. I think in the future, if, uh, if we had gone on, we would have removed all the weapon traps and just had cage traps, and maybe would have, like, gotten a lot more cage traps with, like, tons of them out here, maybe. Break down some of the roads. Uh, along each one of these four entryways going towards the center of the fort, we probably would have done the same thing. And then on its sieges, we would have locked ourselves down. Maybe would have put, like, an animal out here to kind of lure things down through these channels. And then we would have had them smashed. A bunch of the invaders, whoever they happen to be, elves or we're we're still at war with the elves. I, I'm pretty sure. So I probably would have conducted conducted a lot more raids. Um, we covered all this up. The drawbridge would just be right there. Uh, now that I know this thing about uh, putting out like an infinite order for collecting sand, that's actually pretty cool. Um, makes the making the glass a lot easier. Had a lot of problems before with that. So our guys out here are training. They're they're getting pretty powerful now. So our military squad, even though we only had one squad, we were doing pretty good. We actually have quite a bit of steel. I was thinking of gradually upgrading their equipment to steel, maybe putting a second squad in, like a full squad, with the iron gear that they, you know, they they had the old hand me downs. So we're gonna go down into the base. Did I mention I put hatch covers here? Yeah, I did. For some weird reason on this fort, also, they're not picking up buckets. And I have plenty of room in my bucket stockpile below. And I even have a bucket stockpile here that gives the ones below. We put a lot of our animals here, more exotic animals here, I just say, out here on um, some ropes. Those cougars and stuff in the giant cougar. Uh, our farming area, if you remember, we had to do a little working around. And I messed up on the initial design. But... Our sand collection area as we go down further. Our entrance into the base from outside goes through these cage traps all the way around down into the main base to this way. And that's just the access way to get up to that farm level. So this here, that's from above that. That goes, this is our main central stairway. This is just for basically all the refuse stuff that is usable for like bones and skulls and like that. We were tapping out some of these veins. This is like, these are like second and third bar block stockpiles. They're massively filled up. I think I went a little overboard with some of the blocks. Uh, There's more stockpiles. The food stockpile actually sold a lot of drinks in our last uh, trade session with those guys that we had traded with. I showed you in the intro section, or no, that last section. Uh, the balloon was at the. Catapult ballistas and stuff made there. 
the second class maker workshop, and an indoor training area that we had for a short while during the sieges. Our furniture stockpile is completely maxed out. A lot of those are those leather bags I asked to be made. Apparently they're not really using them for sand collection. I don't quite know why. Again, that barn block stockpile completely maxed out. We're making a lot of charcoal too, we got to remember. Our animals and stuff, I would probably be working on clearing a lot of these out. Some of these goblin captives have been stripped of weapons and some have not. I'm getting really just sick and tired of having all these things here. I don't know if that would help on our frame rate if we just got rid of everything. But you see we have a lot of these war grizzly bears from the elven invasion. A couple of one or two horses. A lot of goblins, those giant boars. And then our big uh, library over here and slash museum area where we get a lot of stuff. We never did get uh, any artifacts by going out. Then our sleeping, basically our rooms. For sleeping, we made too many of them. We have to see we have two levels that aren't even made. A lot of these on these levels are not even occupied. I only had a 100 max. What was it? 100? Then I forgot what the max was. It might have been 105 or 110 for the max of people. Plus, it was like a small amount for the visitors, so... I think I just overdid it with the, with the rooms. Then our, our main dining hall area. I put some of those copper statues in that I mentioned that I was making with last segment. In there, I got quite a few more of those. Uh, we probably didn't even need to be doing eggs anymore. We got so many damn eggs. I killed off most of the turkeys and stuff for that. Dogs are still in there, but they're fighting amongst themselves because there's so many of them in there. Our food production area like this farmer's workshop here this process plan set just goes on almost infinitely we only just recently had it stop let's see here yeah they're doing lavish meals on repeat with all those dog parts so we, and we were gonna put the the vampires in these rooms I think I would have done that long term I completely forgot about the vampire thing uh, I think long term I would have done that but again I'm not really I don't know, I would have liked to have done something different with the vampire than just lock him away in some opulent room, but I guess we could have done that. Like I said here, these are all empty buckets for over the wells in the, in the hospital area. Um, they're not filling it up, I just don't quite understand why. Oh, is that guy sick or something? He's resting in here. Why would he be resting in here? Is he hurt? Wood burner with a neck injury. It's curious about why that is health. Neck and then neck has been torn open. Huh. Clean with soap. When did that happen? I got no clue what he got himself into. Owen Riley something. Ah, Olin Woodburner. Oh, one of the buzzards attacked him. Oh, that's unusual. We've not normally had a buzzard give our people any problems here. As a tide turn, I laugh in the face of death. <laughs> our, our time in the ageless dimension is so, so brief. This does not scare me. He stands up. I, I guess I just sort of ended it, huh? Yeah. Doesn't say he won the fight. Just says he stood up. So apparently the buzzard actually attacked him. Alright. Interesting. I didn't know the buzzard had attacked him. Our huge well system. We would have never run out of water. Uh, I don't think we ever did fill up all these. No. These were like our burial area. A few other people did. I think some of those, those caravan guards did get killed by the elves though. Adam Smash again, there wasn't much more to Adam Smash. I don't think we would have recovered much more. Um, frame rates. A secondary area in case we needed to do more, uh, you know, coffins and stuff, but we never did need that. Huge uh, quantum stockpile here, stone now, mostly. And then our, basically, each level had its own set of workshops, and this was the 
refuse stockpile where the miasma will go up one level and just kind of just dissipate in there. And that was it. Oh, the Baron's Baroness's room. She's all set up. And it just went down. I did this just for getting some flux stone so we can make all that steel. Because uh, I think it was, what was this? Marble. Yeah, I think it's a flux stone if I remember. And we went way down. There was another cavern system way below here. We still got some of that vampire blood down there from that visitor that was a vampire, if you remember. Oh, well, that was several episodes ago. I can't remember how far down this was. We pierced into a second cavern layer here. Looks like a troglodyte still in there, and that's about it. Now, how the hell is this guy in here? A mace dwarf. There's no way he could have been in here all this time. Dasset Inglesom. Is he one of our guys? He's not a guest. Or if he is, he's way down on the list. Because I closed that off like a long time ago. All right, so I don't know who this Dasa is. Where is? Am I just not missing? Am I just missing it here? Yeah, he's not our guy though. Who the hell is this guy? Unless some kind of glitch happened, or one of our guys tele magically teleported down there. <laughs> I don't know. I I think when we closed that area off, someone did slip in, but there's no way they could have survived without dying by now. They would have starved to death. Yeah, monster slayer. What is he eating? I don't have any food in there. It says he's hungry and thirsty, but he somehow survived. That's been like, he's been in there for at least three or four in-game years. That was a long time ago. I don't know what his deal is. Uh, wounds? Status? General? Status? I don't know. Okay, well, I don't feel anything after seeing a tribe that I die. He's uneasy and bored because he's just trapped in here. He's not injured at all. Yeah, I don't really know what the deal with that is. Hmm, I don't know. He, I don't think he's part of our military squad either, is he? That's it? No. Dodok, that's a different guy. Alright. No, don't know what he is. I, he's a part of our fort. We we gave we let him come in, and he's been trapped down there for years, and he somehow hasn't died. I, maybe they'll just eat on their own. I, I really don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe they eat the crap off the ground on their own. All right, something weird's going on here with my keyboard, so... Uh, what is going on here? Yeah, it's pushing down for some reason. All right, well that cleared up. Anyway, uh, yeah, well we're gonna retire the relic master. Let's go in here. It is 161. I don't remember what this what we started at in the first episode, but we went quite a few years before the frame rates did cripple us. Uh, yeah, we could keep going, but it would be. Some, I just can't do this anymore. I got other let's plays and things I want to do, and I am actually am interested in doing this cheese maker one. And I'm going to probably, like I said, take a couple weeks off. And then we're going to start the Cheesemaker one, all right? So if you have other ideas for little micro forts to do like that, I may do them after. I might do a series of micro forts. The Cheesemaker's the first one. And I'm, I'll have to think about some other ones. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, well, I just want to thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. Having gotten further than I thought I would, I'm just, I'm th actually pretty thrilled I made 20 something episodes with this because, uh, yeah, version 40 just had so many problems with the frame rate stuff. I had to kill those forts pretty quick. 
And, uh, yeah, well, if you watch this series, please consider hitting the thumbs up on each episode of the series. I want to know, I want to get a gauge on, like, how many people are actually watching it. We're, the viewership started off, like, really high, dropped down to, like, mid-20s, bounce around between 20 and 30 views per episode, on up to this one. So I'm just trying to get a feel here for are people watching it, do they give a crap, I don't know. Again, if you want to support the channel, Patreon links are in the description. For some reason that must rub people the wrong way, I got a lot of thumbs down on some of these videos. Well, too freaking bad, I'm going to keep mentioning that stuff. Obviously, you know, if, if you just don't like the shows, <laughs> the channel, unsubscribe. I mean, I don't really get people's deranged mentality where they'll keep watching the shows from someone's channel or they'll keep watching videos from their channel and hate all the episodes so much that they hit thumbs down. Honestly, if you don't like it, just freaking unsubscribe and go away. I don't need you making me money out here. All you're doing is helping me out. So, <laughs> hitting thumbs down actually helps me out. Not as much as a thumbs up, but it helps me out more than everyone else's apathy where they never hit anything or leave any comments. I really would just like enjoy this, the sad thing with this Let's Play was in the, my last let's few several Let's Plays, I had a lot of viewer interaction with me. This time around, I didn't have hardly any. Uh, I just was kind of wondering if uh, people are, you know, what what the difference what had happened between now and the last Let's Plays. I just really didn't understand that. <laughs> I, I just don't know. I can't understand people at all anymore. I really can't understand people. So, at any rate, yes, we'll be back with more Dwarf Fortress. This has always been a staple of this channel. Even though I've been contemplating dropping doing a lot of Let's Plays on this channel and going back to more guides, I do have an idea for Dwarf Fortress Guide. It's not going to be a tutorial, though, for how to play the game. It's going to be a tutorial for certain specific things within the game. Like, I have a hospital-related tutorial that I'm working on right now that might not get out for another week or two but once I get to it uh, it'll be like a guide for someone who's new to the game doesn't know how to set up a hospital it's basically take you through the entire healthcare kind of thing it's gonna be very comprehensive so I'm doing stuff like that in the future uh, for Dwarf Fortress and like obviously these micro forts and then after a series of micro forts you know, we'll, I'll just call it quits until the next version of Dwarf Fortress comes out so thanks for watching thanks for, for supporting the channel and supporting me commenting and enjoying the videos and i hope you hopefully you guys did enjoy this let's play see you soon adios folks